ಕಮ್ಮ This is uh, Vasco da Gama pillar, as you can see it, and um, uh, Vasco da Gama pillar, uh, we are, uh, as you know, over the years, um, the, the place where it is uh, uh, placed has become eroded as a result of the rising uh, 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 sea levels uh, because of the uh, climate change. This is one of the effects of uh, uh, the climate change in the, in, in the world today that is affecting all, all uh, parts of the world. And for here in Malindi, um, one of the effects of that climate change, the rising because of the uh, erosion of um, uh, icebergs uh, in, in both the Arctic and Antarctica, uh, the sea levels have been rising. And, and as a result, all those properties and, and uh, areas around the, the ocean have been suffering. So one of those effects is the erosion of the, the base of uh, Vasco da Gama Pifila. And I must say that the uh, uh, Kenya government has also been very supportive of heritage. Again, through um, a Sports, Arts and Development Fund, we have been able to receive funding uh, to uh, restore and, uh, and rehabilitate and also stabilize uh, the For Jesus uh, uh, pillar. 
which is uh, Vasco da Gama pillar, which is very important as a, as a landmark in, in Malindi. In fact, you cannot talk about Malindi town without uh, uh, Vasco da Gama pillar. And that's why we were able to get uh, uh, money from the Sports Development Fund. We we're also very happy, and uh, I'm a very pleased person as a Director General of National Museums of Kenya, that we have local contractor um, who has been gateway, who has been able to uh, uh, stabilize and, uh, this pillar and so far he has done 25 percent of the work and we hope in in the next few weeks um, the works of uh, uh, rehabilitating and stabilizing Baskundagama pillar will be complete this is the kind of thing we we'll, in ideally what we, we would go looking for foreigners to to do this kind of uh, specialized marine work but um, the work going here, and, uh, and you can see much of it, it is very good, it's very excellent, and, and shows that uh, we as a nation, we have um, a capacity that can do uh, all sorts of uh, specialized work. And, uh, and, uh, and we're also very, very happy again uh, that Jubilee government, uh, one of its uh, um, uh, major achievements is protection and stabilization and rehabilitation of the heritage of this country. Um, this is not the only project we are doing. We are also doing a project in a, in a, a Kapenguria, uh, where the, 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 the Kapenguria six were jailed. We are also doing a, a work at uh, a Maralal, um, uh, the Kenyatta House Maralal. We are also doing work in, in, um, in Lodwa. All this um, supported by uh, government through um, taxes that have been raised uh, uh, among Kenyans. Um, uh, but there are also other needs in other parts of the country. The, the, the work is enormous because for a very long time there was very, very little funding that was available to the National Museums of Kenya to uh, take care of this heritage. And really uh, the Sports Arts and uh, Social Development Fund has become as a real savior in terms of looking at our, at our heritage. And we hope in the next few years um, our heritage should be able to um, uh, shine and also be able to attract uh, many people. So um, up to now we have moved quite, quite fast. We have managed. We are actually we are around 25 percent of the of the of the of the, of the, of the pro progress. The contract period for this work is uh, one year, 365 days, and within a period of one month, we have been able to do quite a substantial amount of work. The scope of the work is actually the construction of uh, a block wall here. Uh, and the first operation we do is uh, excavation. We do excavation in rock. Then after that we do shattering and then we cast the a strip foundation. After that we construct a kicker because this is an inclined wall so you cannot just cons construct it directly. We have to construct a kicker so, so as to receive the block wall at an angle. Then we do the, we do the uh, block wall. This is a special wall. Uh, the blocks are made of concrete uh, and they are interlocking. So we don't use any cement, cement mortar in, the, in joining them. Okay. Each block has two cores. So after placing the concrete blocks, then we concrete and make sure that it is very strong. Uh, at the, the, during this season, the sea is very stormy. Okay, and we have sometimes we have had one, one, one or two blocks dislodged. Behind the wall, inclined wall, we are going to backfill using soft materials, uh, pit sand actually to use. But be, just immediately behind the, 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 the stone wall, there is a layer of stone pitching, one foot, that is 300 millimeters of stone pitching. Then after that, there's a, a geotextile uh, membrane. You see that, that, that white. Material. That's a geotextile, material, which allows the filtration of that water, allows the water, uh, uh, which gets into the, the the backfill during high tide to escape. The wall is also provided with uh, whip holes every two and a half meters, so that the water can can drain away, so that we avoid any hydrostatic pressure on, on the wall.